In this video, we're going to explore a new feature of Odoo 16.3 where you can sell physical goods using subscriptions. So to do that, we have a brand new 16.3 environment. We have subscriptions installed as well as e-commerce and sales. First thing we're going to do is go into our inventory and we're going to create a new inventory product. In this example, let's say that we're selling coffee and we're going to do it on a subscription model. You'll see under options here, we can check recurring to make this a recurring product. Then we'll see our time-based pricing. And here's where we can set the prices for different periods, such as a monthly, daily, weekly, quarterly subscription. Here, let's just do monthly, and we'll set this as $19.99 monthly. Now, as we see here, this is a product type of a storable product, so it's something that we will hold in stock. And just for this example, I'll update our quantity on hand and I'll just set it at 100 so we can have some units available to us. Now that we have our product set up, I'm going to go into our subscriptions module. I'm going to go under configurations and we'll look at plans. Now here we can create a new subscription plan and we can reuse these for multiple different products. But here I'll just say this is for our coffee and let's just say monthly. We can set the recurrence here as monthly and we'll add our product. And this is just going to create a subscription plan and it's going to set some default values for us so that we can continuously um, utilize them. So one of the main things I want to look at here is that rec recurrence is monthly, the duration will have forever. So you can set a fixed time period where this will last. So maybe it's a six month subscription and they're going to be billed monthly, but here we're going to do forever. So it will continuously be billed until they cancel or close their subscription. Here we can select self closable and this will allow them to close out their subscription inside of their subscription portion of their customer portal. We can automatically close our subscription after 15 days if the payment is not received, or we can change this to any time we want. So maybe it's just one day after no payment, we close it, or we give them some sort of grace period. Next, we can set our invoicing journal. We'll just put this as customer invoices. If you wanted to keep your subscriptions in a different journal, you can certainly do so. Here when we send out a quote from the back end, we'll request a signature and payment. And here we can set an email template for our confirmation email for their subscription. So likely you'll have a customized email for their coffee subscription or another subscription. Here I'll just put in anything as it's not the point of this video. And the same thing is true for their invoice email. So every time they get invoiced, they will receive this email. We can set some optional products as well as terms and conditions. I won't worry too much about that right now. And of course, down below we have our product for this plan. This is going to be the coffee product and we can set our prices, but we already set the prices uh, for that monthly recurrence on our product template. So we don't need to worry about that either. Now, because Odoo 16 had merged subscriptions and sales, we can either sell this subscription through subscriptions or we can do it from our sales orders. Additionally, what's most likely going to happen is somebody may purchase that on your website. So we're going to go through that workflow and look at what happens when we purchase it through the website. So I'll click on website here and we're going to go into our coffee subscription. I'll just publish this page. I'm logged in as the admin, but I can also purchase a subscription if needed. So here I'm just going to click on add to cart and I'm going to view our cart items. We'll proceed to checkout. I have a payment token on file, so I'm just going to select that and I already have my address set. So now I'm just gonna click pay now. And what that's gonna do is create a new subscription on our back end, And it's also going to create that invoice as well as the delivery to deliver out that product to our customers. So now let's look at our customer portal. So I'll go to my account here and we notice that was sale order number 12. I'm gonna go into subscriptions and we see sale order number 12 here. The total is $22.99 with tax and it's in progress. If I click on sale order number 12, We'll see our plan, our details. We can change the address if there was a wrong address here. We won't change it right now. Oops, let's go back to our subscriptions. Let's go into here. And we see our delivery is for, it's in preparation mode. We have our save payment token down here, but if we need to change our payment token, we can do so as well. Now I'm gonna go to our back end and see what was generated. So inside of sales, because subscription and sales is merged now, it's one model. We can see our sale order number 12 right from our sale orders. We see all the chatter functionality that's 
going to trigger all of the different emails that have went out, the invoice that has been paid, the payment token and link that's uh, linked to the invoice. And we also see on the smart buttons on top that the system has 1999 as our MRR for our monthly recurring revenue. We have our invoice that was marked as in payment based on that Stripe uh, token that got triggered. If we go back to our sale order here, we'll see our delivery and we see our product for the coffee that can be sent out. So we'll set that and validate. Oops. We'll validate that, apply, and now that has been sent out to our customer. Now, every month, a new invoice will be generated, and every time a new invoice is generated, a new delivery order will be generated to send them out their coffee subscription. You'll see the date of the next invoice here. So on 726, today is currently uh, 626 or 625. So in 30 days from now, on 726, they will receive their next invoice, which will automatically get triggered and paid based on that uh, payment token we have saved. And then new delivery will be generated. Now, just to demonstrate that, I'm going to create one manually here and we'll see a new delivery order get created. So I'll click Create Invoice and I'll just confirm this. And I'm going to register a payment with their payment token. Let's go back to sale order number 12. And we do see a delivery order was generated as well. Now, of course, that would all that would happen automatically. But here we just did it manually to demonstrate what exactly we're looking at. Now, the next thing I want to look at is how we can sell a subscription box. So that's something that's very common now. And you might have multiple items inside of a subscription box that change uh, depending on the month. So to do that, we're going to use and we have our manufacturing installed so that we can create a bill material for a product. And we're going to create that as a type of kit. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into manufacturing. I'm going to create a new product. And I'm just going to call this, maybe this is the coffee kit. Maybe this is a little bit more expensive. This is $49.99 a month. And this is going to be recurring. And we're going to do, actually, this doesn't matter here. We're going to do our time-based pricing. We're going to do monthly. This is $49.99. And under inventory here, I'm going to click on manufacture. And I'm going to save this. Now from here, I'm going to create a bill material for this product that has multiple other products in it. So I'm going to create just regular one-off products. I'll just call this coffee item one. And this is just going to be a storable product. I'll update my quantities here. And let's do coffee up number item number two. And again, I'll update my quantities just so we have some in stock to deliver. And I'll do coffee item number three. We'll update our quantity and apply. So now under bill materials, I'm going to create a new bill material. And that's going to be for the coffee kit. And we're going to create a kit bomb type. I'm going to add some products here coffee item one, and coffee item number two. I'm going to keep coffee item number three out for now. Now from here, this should be a product that's sellable. So our coffee kit should be sellable on our website. So I'll just make it visible. And I'm going to go back to our dashboard here and go into subscriptions, and I'm going to create a new subscription plan. I'm going to say coffee kit. We'll do this as a monthly. We'll say that it's self-closable customer invoices, and again, we'll just set any of these for now. I'll add my kit here, and we'll save this. Just make sure. And now I'm gonna go ahead and buy this coffee kit. So let's go on our website, we'll do the same thing as before. We'll go into this coffee kit here, we'll add this to our cart. We'll go to view cart, proceed to checkout. We're going to pay with our payment token that we have saved already from a previous order, and we'll click Pay Now. So we'll give that a second to process. And then as a result of the processing, we should see the same thing where we have a sale order, and we have an invoice and a delivery order that was generated for us. So let's go to the back end here, and we'll go into our sales. We'll remove our filter here, go into sale order number 13, and we see we are selling the coffee kit. And if we look at our delivery order here, we see our coffee kit items get added. So now I'm gonna set our quantities here, validate, and now we'll go back to our sale order. 
and this is all processed. Now from here what I want to do is I'm actually going to change that bill of material and to do that we'll go back into manufacturing, we'll go to our bill of material. Let's say a new month rolls around and we have a new product that's going to be added to this bill of material. They have a subscription for coffee, uh, coffee kit, but we can customize this as we need. So I'm going to remove that and I click save. And now under sales here, I'm going to do what we did last time where we created a manual invoice. So this is not the order we want. Let's go back here and let's go into sale order number 13. So here I'm going to create a new manual invoice, create a draft invoice. Again, this would happen automatically. We'll register our payment here and create that payment. And now I'm going to go back to sale order number 13 and we're going to see a new delivery. Now if we look at delivery number 10, we'll see that we have caught fee item number one and number three as opposed to one and two. Now keep in mind if you had open deliveries or um, dates that change, then this might cause an issue because um, as you've seen that warning on that bill of material, it was letting us know that we've already sold this product. Make sure that we've delivered all of the products for our previous bill of material before we start adjusting um, that kit that we were creating. All right, so that's a quick look at how you can utilize subscriptions to send out physical goods inside of Odoo. Please let me know if you have any questions.